You got it, muscles. Oh, God. Get it. Get it. Hold on. Got a butt. <laughs> oh, and we base planted it again. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's so floppy. Kind of like me. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Don't hit the buttons on the dick. Oh, God. I keep... <laughs> We're done. You got this. Don't drop it. Don't stop. Oh, God. <laughs> You got this. Shove it. Shove it. You're right. not helping. <laughs> well, you told me you could do this, so. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. Got this. You got this. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that patient. You've got this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You got this. Oh my god. Ooh. It's just, I don't know where it starts and ends anymore. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Alright, we got it up there. So as you guys can tell, we're out camping again. We are at Houston Mesa, which is actually in Payson. Mm -hmm. So it's not anywhere in Mesa, which yeah. if you're familiar with Phoenix, <laughs> there's a Mesa. It's a little confusing. A little confusing. Um, it's actually really nice up here. Um, so far we've got kind of this whole lot to ourselves, but the 87 coming up here was absolutely a mess. We tried to avoid coming up this way, but it's really nice, all the big pine trees, We've got a really nice site. We backed in. We're pretty level. We don't have to bring the go treads out. It is, I think, 80 something right now. 74. 74. Beautiful. So it's beautiful. It's almost 98 back home in Phoenix, which this is only maybe two hours with traffic we had. Mm -hmm. So, but what we wanted to go over with you guys in this video is why we're not full time van lifers. And honestly, I don't think we'll ever be. Not for long if we ever are. Not for long. Yeah. Maybe for long extended trips. Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons why we're not is because we love our house and we love working on our house. Yes. So we definitely have some DIY projects that we're going to be going into mm -hmm. with our house. I'm so excited for I know. It. You're excited. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind because I'm OCD and I can't I handle um, like clutter. Mess. A mo yeah, a mess. A yeah. block of things. <laughs> so but we love we love that right like we love having a home base we love being able to work on our house physically so that's an, one reason why we're not full-time and we probably won't be so tonight we are going to attempt to make a campfire pizza and a cast iron so we're going to get some of the fire started so we can cook on it we'll see how this goes We also got this little extra table too. It's really awesome just to give us some extra workspace. I always forget which way we can look. I know. And there is our second prep table. It's not too tall, but just tall enough for us short people. Amanda is 5'1 and some inches. Yeah, so it's not too bad. It works. Especially when we have our chair. 
Yeah. It's a good height for sitting. Yeah, and for eating at. Yeah. So we went to Trader Joe's. If you guys have one of these, these are awesome because we got their hash brown patties. Absolutely amazing, which we're making in the morning. But they also have a pizza dough, garlic and herb that we use for calzones. But we're going to try to do a pizza this time. So we'll see how much. We usually divide it into four. So we'll probably do that again and see how it goes. But you do have to let it rest for 20 to 30 minutes before you start messing with it. All right, so we've got our two little doughs here. I uh, don't know how big these are going to be, if they're both going to fit in there. If one's just going to fit in there, we're going to try for one. We've just got some parchment paper and some cornmeal. And anyone who's ever done pizza kind of knows. You just kind of put your divots in to make your crust. And then I kind of just take my hand, my one hand and hold it and then start to stretch it. These might be like little mini pizzas. <laughs> they might we be. might have to get some more, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah. And we'll then just happen. trying to stretch it out. Because we didn't, we know what these are like at home, but we didn't know how this was going to be out here and how big they were going to be. <laughs> the other half just might be a good size pizza. Mm -hmm. These actually might be two little good ones. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Yeah. A little bit harder when the paper turns with you, but cornmeal is really nice because it just kind of falls off compared to flour, which we've used in the past. A little bit more of a pain in the ass. So mm -hmm. we preheated, hopefully just for three minutes because they were thin. Let's see how they look. Oh, they got a little crust on them. Perfect. Do they? Yeah, they're getting a little there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yay. So throw that down there and then we are going to make these little guys. We've got some Rios, which is really good pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. So and then we're going to top these up and then we will check back in with you guys here soon. All right, so we've got our finished products. I've got black olives, pepperoni, red onions, banana peppers on mine. These little green bugs keep eating me. <laughs> and then Amanda, she just has red onions, black olives, and mozzarella cheese we both do. So we're gonna throw this back on there. All right, first little mini pizzas are completed. So we made one big one now. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. Um, we're getting it, eaten alive by these little green bugs. Yeah, and it's really bad. <laughs> like we actually had to close like the van door door because they were like on the mesh mesh. It, like so, covered the entire thing. It was bad. Yeah. So it looks like we got a really good crust though. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. I hope the dough's cooked all the way through. I think it is. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm. It's really good. I would go get red crushed peppers, but I am not dealing with these bugs <laughs> right now. I know. At all. And if you guys hear a lot of background noise, honestly, it's Memorial Weekend that we're filming this. The whole campground is absolutely booked. Yeah. And so it's busy. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Well, another reason why we're not full time van lifers is because we love having our house for taking breaks from camping, being out and traveling, and also to be able to fix and repair things when things happen, like our water pump, our fuel pump, our solar, our entire electric system. We have a home base that we can go back to, take all the time we need, have all the tools we need, and kind of be able to repair and relax. Yeah. As you guys saw on the last trip, that week-long trip that we did, we tried to do the repairs at the hotel, which was a band-aid, mm -hmm. but it's really hard when you don't have somewhere where you can just pull out everything yeah. and fix it. So having a home base like that, and some people do have it, like it's, if it's his family, if it's a studio that they have, or like maybe just a garage they rent out, but having a house for us to be able to take breaks and be able to fix things for the van, honestly has been a game changer for us. So it looks like the perfect pizza, but I think it's a little crispy on the bottom. I think so. I think it's okay. It's a little bit. And we're not big beer drinkers, so we're trying a couple of craft ones. So this is Sleepy Dog Brewing Wet Snout Peanut Butter Stout. Mm -hmm. And it's in, made in Tempe, Arizona. Yeah, local so Arizona. We'll see how this goes down. 
I'm gonna pop the beer. Go for it. See how it goes. I'm gonna tell you I won't like it, but. That's Ooh, that smells, that smells thick. Thick? What does that mean? I don't know, it just it smells thick. Okay, well we're gonna, oh God. We're gonna eat four bug. slices because I'm not cutting anymore. Sounds good. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Oh God, I'm a little scared of this. <laughs> That tastes like a Tootsie Roll gone wrong, dude. Gone wrong? No oh, good? That, that, mm. Might grow on me, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I just, I don't like stouts. It just tastes like a Tootsie Roll gone wrong. It's not bad. Like I can tolerate that stout. I like that. So we tried a sour that we didn't we didn't do on camera because we were at the house. Yeah. Just having a casual because mm -hmm. we picked up a couple of these, and we had a sour that was really good. It was watermelon, strawberry strawberry, strawberry, strawberry watermelon. watermelon, and it comes in a neon can. A oh, black and, with neon. Yeah. Graphic. And that was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I'm trying. I know. It ain't working. I know. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna move these way over here. <laughs> <laughs> no spices on my side. Here's to the real pizzas. Yes. Here, I'll give you a little crust. Okay. Ooh, this one warm. feels it's better. It's definitely warm. This ah. one feels better. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Not good. Mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> if you want to taste something that tastes like a Tootsie Roll, gone wrong. It's that one. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll. If you like stouts, you'll like it. Oh, this is burnt. It's a little burnt, yeah. Ooh, that's... It's campfire smoke. Nope. It's campfire cooking. Nope. <laughs> Another reason why we are not full-time van lifers is we love our bed at home. We spent way too much money on it. We both are, we love super soft beds for soft sleepers. Um, and the bed in here is, as you have known probably, if you know anything about the Revels, not the greatest. So we did upgrade again. We still have our four inch latex. And then we got rid of the original mattress and we got the Rome rest in the softer version. So we're gonna try that out tonight and hopefully it'll be a little bit better, especially since we're both side sleepers. Um, our hips and our shoulders get kind of sore. Um, but then we also just kind of love our room, the space we have at our house. Being in the van is great for us. We don't really feel claustrophobic, but having that extra space to kind of lounge around, sprawl out, have to store things, things like that is really helpful for us. So if you were so wondering why I was filming Amanda earlier <laughs> trying to look around this thing. It was our latex we were trying to put back on our bed. Yes. So we've got the latex with the new Rome rest. So after we do some more bug hunting. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, there's just a shit ton. Um, <laughs> Sorry. We're going to try to go to sleep. We're going to see how this goes though. We'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Good morning from camp. We are gonna make some breakfast and then head out. We got our bacon hash browns. Bacon's gonna fit plates and that's gonna be where the eggs go. All right, so we got our eggs, which is not very much, but we're gonna try and divide them up evenly. Oh, that didn't work out, huh? bit over here. Right, so we got those. And then we have our hash browns, which of course you have to add salt to right away. Mm -hmm. Out of our air fryer. Grab these little guys. One for each. Mm 
then of course we have our bacon let's see how many pieces we got so we can divide up evenly what was that four here I'm gonna take the smaller one because you took the big one last time. Oh my gosh! So I'm okay. taking that. <laughs> and breakfast is served. All right, guys, gotta take Chancey to the vet. Something's going on with her ear. She's flipping it a lot. She's got a lot of gunk in it. Yeah. Gonna take her to the vet, see what happens. But ooh, ooh. <laughs> it is bright out here. Yeah, it is. There we go. There we go. So, last reason why we're not full-timers is because we have full-time jobs. And we started this channel to show people who work nine to fives, that work Monday through Friday like we do, that you can go and do this, you can have these dreams, you can go travel. So that's another reason why we're not gonna be full-timers anytime soon. So if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos. We're coming out with them weekly. And until next time, guys, we will see you later.